Hi, I'm Larry Puckett, the DCC Guy. Today I want to introduce you to a product that I fell in love with a few years ago, the Just Plug System from Woodland Scenics. You know, it gives you the ability to create professional level uh, lighting for your layout without even having to get out a soldering iron. So let's go ahead and get started. You know, in the previous video that I did on lighting your structures, uh, I showed you how, to, how you can take uh, those LED strips and, you know, solder wires to them and resistors and trim pots and things like that and put together some lights to install in your buildings. But, you know, I realized that there's some folks who are not comfortable with doing soldering and who would rather just have something that they can put together right off the shelf and be up and running or be up and lighting their layout in short order. So today what I want to show you is how you can create a scene just like this one here on the Piedmont Southern uh, without doing a single bit of soldering. And it's called the Woodland Scenics Just Plug Lighting System. So what I want to do now is, you know, give you a little tour of all of the different uh, 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 pieces of equipment uh, that go together in this system and the different kind of lights available. And then we'll move over to the workbench and I'll give you a demonstration of how it all fits together and how you can power it with using your uh, plain old uh, MRC power pack. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do it. It's fairly straightforward. You know, there's a little button right here on the lower right hand side of your screen uh, that you can click on and subscribe to the channel. And I'd really appreciate it if you would do that. And you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. Okay, I want to start by uh, introducing you to the various components that make up the uh, Just Plug system. And right off, one thing I don't have shown here, because it's plugged in under my layout right now, is a 16-volt AC transformer. And you can purchase that uh, as one of the components uh, from Woodland Scenics, or as I'll show you in a minute, uh, you can actually use an old power pack because you can use the 16 volt AC output uh, on that power pack to uh, run your lights. And yes, it does use AC power. And built into these various little black boxes are all of the co electrical components that convert the AC to DC for use with the LEDs. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and start. So basically then, this wire here, the black wire that I'm pointing to, comes in, and that's the power in from the AC transformer. And you don't actually need an expansion hub, just one light hub, and then the power plugs in right here. And in this case, I've also got a uh, an on-off switch plugged in here to the control inlet on the expansion hub. You could uh, e just as easily plug it in here to the control uh, input socket on the light hub. Now. With each light hub, there are four light sockets, and you can see them right here. Uh, and on each one of these, there is a little socket that you can plug uh, lights into. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute on the workbench. But basically, at each one of these sockets, each one of these four sockets, you can plug anywhere from two to three lights. So that's up to 12 different lights that you can plug into and power from this light hub. And after you run in, after you've used up all of these sockets and have, you know, eight to 12 uh, lights turned on and working, if you want additional ones, then you can daisy chain these light hubs here. The thing is, you have to have these expansion hubs to do that, okay? Because power comes in here and then it's fed out from the expansion hub plugs here to the various light hubs, okay? So this can plug, uh, can power up to four uh, light hubs. So all of a sudden you go from one uh, light hub with four sockets to two light hubs with eight sockets or twice that many, 16 uh, plug-in sockets with up to three um, lights Per. So that's up to 48 lights that you can drive uh, off of one expansion hub and four light hubs. So that gives you a lot of capability 
uh, to light up a whole section of your layout. And all you have to do is plug in these wires. Uh, another thing that they have on these, if you notice here along the bottom, there's four dimmer controls. And each one of these dimmer controls goes with each one of these uh, sockets here uh, on each just plug light hub. And you can twist these little dimmer controls. They're just little trim pots like I showed uh, in the video the other day on, uh, on lighting up uh, your structures uh, using the LEDs. And you can actually dim the lights or you know go to full brightness. And I'll show you how that works in a minute too. So there's a lot of capabilities here. Okay, now that you've seen how the, the basic uh, expansion hub and light hubs work, let me go ahead and move on and we'll take a look at the different type of lights that are available. Okay, these are the basic lights that uh, come uh, with or that you can purchase for your, your just plug installation. So you can see right here we have this nice little gooseneck lamp and this is great for installing on the exterior of buildings, over doors, places like that, that uh, they were used in the past. And then here we have a very nice uh, street light that you can put up. Uh, it works great around stations and, and other buildings like that in, in urban areas. And then over here, uh, we have this pole mounted light uh, fixture, which is great for using around uh, railroad yards and, and other industrial settings, you know, where a, a simple wooden pole is sufficient. You don't need the fancy cast iron architectural uh, lighting fixture. And then down here you can see this one. It's just one big LED. It has adhesive on the back of it and you can attach this to the inside uh, of buildings, say to the ceilings of uh, large buildings uh, like I did on the Water Street uh, uh, freight terminal uh, building that I showed you earlier. And you can install a couple of these inside and they'll light up the whole interior. So I, I really uh, I used these a lot in place of using those individual uh, LED light strips like I showed you in the previous video. And then right here you can see on this one it comes with this little socket already mounted. On the rest of these you can see we just have these bare wires. And these wires are very, very fine uh, magnet wire, I think. And, you know, they're coated with lacquer and they come, you know, bare anyway. The, the ends are bare wire and they're red and, uh, and black. OK, and that's important because right over here, you can see the red and black wire. So once we get past the sockets on the uh, on the light hubs, uh, everything becomes DC. OK, so the output from each light hub is DC power that is being fed to these LEDs. Because I remember I told you that LEDs are polarized uh, devices. So basically then we have these little devices here that the light uh, fixture wires get uh, plugged into. And then this little device here, this little plug really, plugs into the socket on the, on the uh, light hubs. So that's how it all fits together. And uh, I'll show you how that works in just a minute when we get to that part. Okay, so what I have here in front of me are various components of the Just Plug system. And I went through descriptions of what all these things do, but I want to show you how they work firsthand. So as I said, the basic uh, component is the light hub, okay? And you can power this using a direct feed from an MRC power pack. I've got an one over here. And as you can see, I've got two wires uh, attached to the back here, to the AC uh, accessory power output. And then uh, one of the things that you can purchase uh, or, and with this uh, just plug system are these extension cords that allow you to make various connections between the, the expansion hub and the light hubs and the like. And I just took one of those and cut one end off uh, of it so that I could uh, attach one of these directly to the back of the uh, power pack. And that is going to serve as my power supply. Now you can purchase a 16 volt AC power supply from um, Woodland Scenics uh, just for 
use with the just plug system. Or if you have a 16 volt AC uh, power pack, you know, you can just purchase one of these extension cords and make your own. And then all you have to do is, uh, as I showed you, there are all of these sockets uh, indicated on the front of the light hub. And here is what they look like from the top. So all you have to do is plug it in like that. So that's why it's called just plug. You just plug it in. Okay, and then here are the four sockets that uh, you plug in your various lights to. Now, in the uh, previous uh, section of the video, I showed you that you can, I mentioned that you can hook up anywhere from uh, two to three LEDs. Actually, on those, those large pad type LEDs, the single LEDs, you can only attach one of those to uh, uh, a light hub uh, socket. So, because, you know, it, it's all based on the current draw of each one of these. So some of these, they're low current and you can use three of them. Some of them, they're high current, like that one LED, and you can only attach one of them to a socket. And some of them you can attach two. So it just varies depending on it. And when you purchase something like these uh, fixtures here, it says right down here that you use all of these lights with one uh, of the linker plugs. And I'll show you how the linker plugs work in a minute, but so this one, you can attach three lights, the same thing with the pole lights. And you know, with these um, little guys here, the goosenecks, you can only attach two of those uh, to a linker plug and to a socket. So let me show you how that works. Okay, so what I have here, this is a linker plug. And you can see at one end, it's got the, um, plug that goes into that light hub socket, okay, like I just showed you, and it's got the red and black wires, and so, you know, remember, red is positive, black is negative, and then over here, we have two color-coded, push-type, spring-loaded buttons, and then on the top, we have two little openings, and what you do is you just push in on the spring-loaded connector buttons, put your wires in here, and then release it, and it grips them. So it's that simple. So let me show you how that works. So in this case, I've got a little police car right here, okay? And he's got headlights, he's got taillights, and he's got a cherry on top. So let's see how that works. You can see that there's two black wires here, and there's two red wires here. So the red wires go to the red button, the black wires go in here behind the black button. I'm gonna go ahead and insert the black wire into the opening behind that black pinch pin. And you can see, that gives you a nice tight fit. So they're not gonna just slip out on you, okay? So now, let's zoom out just a little bit so we can see this better. I'll go ahead and turn the power supply on and give you an idea of what this looks like. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna plug this in to the light hub here. like so, and you can see the lights on the headlights have come on, the cherry is blinking, and his tail lights are on too. I hope you can see those, they're dim. And I can dim those. Now watch, as I told you earlier, there's these dimmer switches here on the uh, various light hubs, and I can just go ahead and dial that down a little bit, and you can see it's gonna start to dim. Okay, bring that back up a little bit so it's visible. We can dim it down. So it's got nice control, okay? So that's a nice feature. And they have a whole selection of these little cars with the lights uh, built into them that you can add uh, to scenes on your model railroad. And then I've also got um, one of these pole lights hooked up. And I'll go ahead and plug it in. And you can see how that's going to work. Let's see if I can't get that out. There you can see it. And I'm going to bring it up and you can see it brighten and then take it down to a much dimmer until it just about goes off there, see? So let's bring it back up a little bit. So that gives you really nice fine control over the brightness of the lights uh, on your layout.
Now, one thing I do want to warn you about this, these little trim pots, you have to be very careful about over uh, tightening them or over adjusting them. If you twist them a little bit past the end of the range, you will break them. And you can see I've got a little X marked right here on one of them. That one, it just free wheels now because I took it a bit too far and it won't work anymore. Other than that, all of these work the same way. The goosenecks, the, um, these guys here, these are kind of nice because you get these extensions. So if you want your uh, light poles to be taller, you can add the extensions here. You feed the wire down through them. They're hollow. And then just plug them in. Um, or you can go with the standard height. All you have to do is drill a hole in your uh, top of your bit of your layout and then insert the plug in it and run your wire down through it. They're very straightforward, easy to use. When I first saw them, I wasn't completely convinced that they were something, an option that I would like. However, because of the flexibility and capability of having something like these ready-made light poles, uh, both the uh, fancy ones for urban settings and the standard rustic uh, lamp on a pole type operations, plus these little police cars, you know, and you know, at the time I was looking for goosenecks and these were readily available right off the shelf. I didn't have to build my own or play games like that. They're a great option. You, you don't have to use just them. You can mix and match. They have a lot of flexibility and a lot of options. The next time you're down at your local hobby town or whatever hobby shop, take a look at the Woodland Scenics uh, Just Plug display. There's a lot more things available now than what I've covered here. I hope that's convinced you to at least take a look at the Woodland Scenics Just Plug lighting system. These things, they're all very easy to use. Um, I don't know how expensive they are compared to purchasing all of the components to do all of your installations with individual LEDs, but it's at least worth giving a look at because you might find that it's cheaper and easier in the long run to use something like this that you can put together off the shelf. So have a good weekend and we'll see you on Monday with another video.